All right, guys, so I caught this little interesting segment from The View in regards to social media bullying, right? And the reason why they was talking about this is because Idris Elba had suggested that social media companies need to start to verify people's identities before they allow them to get on social media, right? So that um, people can't just, I guess, bully people without their identifications being revealed, okay? And um, <clears throat> I found this conversation to be interesting from The View as uh, Sonny Holston had suggested that um, these social media companies should verify IDs, right? Should do ver ID verification before allowing people to create accounts. Take a look. Welcome back. After racist online attacks on black athletes during the Euro Cup, after Idris Alba wants social media sites to make users prove their identity so they cannot troll people anonymously. Now, do you think this would work, Sonny? I really do. And I think this is a terrific, terrific idea. I mean, I am subjected daily to uh, racist attacks on social media. I'm talking daily, sometimes in the hundreds, sometimes in the thousands. And it's it's painful. It's hurtful. And it's always from someone who has a cat icon, a flag icon, a frog icon, uh, you know, all sorts, e an eagle icon. And they are, I believe, just Twitter thugs, social media thugs hiding in their mama's basements. The things that they say to me, and I'm sure to many others on this panel, they would never say in person because they don't have the courage to do it. These are cowards. And, you know, People are always talking about ID necessary for all sorts of things. Then ID certainly should be necessary, a verified ID before you start a social media account. Because the reason people are trolling like this is because there are little to no consequences for because of their anonymity. And I, I love that Idris Elba put this out there. Okay. Megan, how do you feel about uh, social media requiring ID? I agree with Sonny. I like it. Uh, I think... Uh yeah, so I, I do think this is an interesting question of uh, whether or not uh, social media companies should require people to show their ID. But I, I guess I got to um, address the grill on, in the room first, right? How funny is it that the leftists are suggesting that you should have an ID to create a social media account, but for whatever reason having an ID to vote, that's racist, right? That's discrimination. That's Jim Crow. That's the Civil War. Like, that's a crime against humanity, right? Oh, man, it, it takes an ID to buy alcohol, to get a firearm, to buy cigarettes, to get a job, to buy a house, to get an apartment, right? Now they want IDs for social media companies to, to create a social media account. But requiring an ID to vote in the election. Oh no, that's a bridge too far. That's a bridge too far, right? Also on top of that, I, I gotta argue, right? Sonny, since you're so concerned about diversity and women and, you know, black people and all this other stuff, right? Um, Wouldn't it be fair to say that if social media require IDs to create accounts that there will be no black people <laughs> on social media, right? Is that is that how this works? Okay, is that how this works? Because according to you guys, that's the reason why black people can't vote. It's because the GOP uh, <laughs> wants to require uh, an ID to vote. So somebody make that make sense. I would think that if this requirement was put in place, then uh, there wouldn't be any black people on social media, right? And <laughs> that would definitely make social media uh, less fun, in my opinion, to be quite honest with you. But moving forward here... Uh, Addressing the idea of having to verify people's identities uh, in order to get on social media in relation to social media bullying. Guys, you know, the thing about bullying people online, I've never actually really understood that, right? Like, you know, even before I started doing this YouTube thing, um, I, I never understood why people are so concerned about trolls whom, you know, say things over the internet right i mean she said it herself they're, they're keyboard warriors right and and now that i guess my youtube channel is i guess i have a, a, a small audience right i would say um i i still don't get it because i personally don't care what trolls have to say about 
me, right? I really don't. And people who comment and they say things that are bad or, you know, they might call me the N-word or they might, or even if, again, if you're on the left, you call me a, you know, sellout or Uncle Tom or, you know, such and such and such. I'm just like, okay, right? <laughs> it is what it is. That's your opinion, right? That's your opinion. But at the end of the day, those people are behind the keyboard. I don't care about who they are or their identities because they're nothing to me, right? They're nothing to me. And you guys who support my channel, who, you know, write constructive comments, whether it's uh, positive or negative, you guys are everything to me, right? I actually do care about what you have to say. But if you're just trolling, no, I, I don't care about what you have to say. And that's the way I look at it, right? But, you know, again, I, I, I just don't understand for the life of me how some of these other celebrities, right? You know, people that are, you know, much more <laughs> known than I am, right? Somebody like Sonny Holston, right? How can you be so concerned about what these random people are saying to you, right? Like Cori Bush, I saw her posting about all of the... um you know, the, the mean things that people were saying to her. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm using mean in a way that, you know, uh, it, it, it definitely was pretty, some heinous stuff was said towards her. You know, things that I, I don't condone being said towards people, even if I don't like them politically, right? But at the same time, it's like, I get how it can be scary, but these people are, are, are still just anonymous internet trolls, right? That they're, They are just typing behind a keyboard and they're trying to, make you feel bad, right? They're trying to make you react in a certain way, right? And when you go out here and you post these messages that you're getting, and when you complain about it and when you cry about it, what you're doing is you're showing those people that you're affected by, it, right? That what they're doing is working. That That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You're showing them, if I keep doing this, if I say this to her, she's gonna see it. She's gonna feel some type of way about it. That's the whole point of them doing that. If you ignore it, then <laughs> maybe people won't do it as much, right? They'll be like, oh, well, there's no need to bother her because I can't get the reaction that I want out of her, right? And this is something that doesn't just happen to people on the left. It happens to people on the right, too. How many effed up things have we seen being written towards Trump, right? Things being uh, said about Trump. I mean, pictures uh, of Trump, right? Uh, Kathy Gr Griffin that really um you know are i could say basically low-key threats right that have been put out towards him and at the end of the day he doesn't seem to be affected by it he's just like oh, i'm a billionaire <laughs> right you know what i'm saying he's not he's just doing his life okay and i think that's the way most people should approach this right uh, you know i mean people can say whatever they want on the internet but if this stuff is not happening in person if they're not doing this in person then I don't see why it matters, and that's why I'm not necessarily like, you know, gun ho about, oh, social media, they should require IDs or verification or whatever. I mean, some people just want to be anonymous on the internet. It is what it is. I think there's a role for anonymity on the internet. I think that can have some positive externalities. So I don't necessarily agree with it, but if social media companies did it, I wouldn't be super upset about it. Okay, I could see how there could be some benefits to that as well. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.